serving sizes, six slices. So all this information. Meet Dr. Julie Way, a pediatric ear, nose, and throat surgeon shown here at the grocery store in a teachable moment with the family of one of her patients. But look, tell me, how many, this is two slices, two pieces of bacon. Are you kidding? You can eat that in less than a minute. But look how many calories food and when patients eat it is the key to a success story that Dr. Wei is having with some very sick children, referred to her by their primary doctors. It all started when she noticed something many of her patients had in common. And I would notice why are otherwise healthy children on four, five, six medicines? And it wasn't just one, it was literally almost the norm, you know. It's a big responsibility when you have a pen and a prescription pad and, you, and oftentimes, even if it's not proven, you say to the parents, I think this is what it is, let's try that and see if the medication helps. The true frustration came when writing a prescription was not enough. I would put them on medicine much like everybody else did, sometimes you even increase the dose, but if a kid is not better, they're not better. So how am I going to justify staying, keeping this child on medicine, which all medications have some side effects? Dr. Wei figured out that patients like this lovable 18-month-old named Ian needed to simply stop drinking milk before bedtime, something his mom didn't believe at first. It, it changed him so much. I think he knew too that we were getting that milk out of there at night and in the middle of the night because that's what I thought he was needing and wanting, you know, because he can't tell us. That's what he couldn't tell us. We just had to go by what he was showing. And it, it was amazing. Dr. Wei says it was just acid reflux. This is not a disease always that you're going to reflux if you have pizza and beer close to bedtime. I mean, you just are. That's not a disease. That's because you went to bed and, you know, you just ate. And we all, you may wake up feeling um, pressure in your chest and lots of extra phlegm. I mean, I personally have had that um, for a long time, so I knew what that was. So I knew that just taking medicine doesn't always fix it. What would fix it is if you went to bed and you didn't have food in your stomach that needs to be digested. Not having food in her stomach at night was also a life-changing experience for this patient. Before I came to her, I felt really sick. And when, when, when we just came to her, she changed my life. It was amazing. Dr. Wei found that sugar and dairy before bedtime create the most common symptoms in children desperate for help. And please know that I'm not anti-dairy. I don't want the dairy farmers um, being upset with me. What I realize is we're not really keeping track. We're all busy. So it turns out I have some moms that say, oh, he doesn't drink that much milk. But when we talk about what the child ate during the day, well, it starts to add up in my mind. So we don't drink a lot of milk, but we have cheese stick, yogurt, ice cream, mac and cheese, cheese and pizza. And all of a sudden, there is a whole lot of dairy that's cumulative that, does, that in small individual doses doesn't seem to be a problem. Dr. Wei says many of her patients also suffer from constipation. Now, look, there's an ear, nose, throat doctor asking about constipation. I know that sounds like totally over-functioning and overarching because I'm not trained on the bottom end. But I know this, it's plumbing. If you're constipated, you keep putting stuff in, but it's got nowhere to go. Dr. Wei's prescription for a healthier life has an added bonus. It saves her patients a lot of money and drug and doctor bills. To reach and help more children, Dr. Wei has put her findings and recommendations into a book. She hopes more patients will give it a go. Even if you think I'm crazy, try it. If you're not better, I don't think I've caused you harm. For the University of Kansas Hospital, I'm Jill Chadwick.